from Mount Mercy College, um, we're at the Day in the Life of a Researcher at Mirai. Uh, hi, I'm Alex and we're here interviewing uh, Judy. Uh, when you were a child, who influenced you? Um, when my dad was a science teacher, um, so when we were growing up he was always teaching us little bits of science. In the car going to school he was trying to teach us the periodic table, a bit crazy, to learn off the periodic table, a little bit daft. But also he taught me about pi. Um, and I remember being a kid on a beach and he had a piece of string and I had, he stood in the middle and I had to draw a circle with the piece of string um, and then he said how many times does that string fit along the edge of the circle and I had to make a guess before I measured it. So I don't know what I said. And I, he said well is it three times? I said yeah it's probably more than three. Is it more than four? No it's less than four and then we suddenly kind of you get down and we only got to less than three and a half or something but that's a guess for pi. 3.14 so it was a nice way to learn about it so that's probably why where I got my love for science and, and engineering. What's the best part of your day? Um, so the Alex the best part of the day and unfortunately it doesn't happen every day but maybe once a week and that frequency we, we solve something maybe myself my own or maybe with the group we, we have a problem it's not working and we're banging our head against the wall for four days five days and we don't we've tried everything and We've run out of avenues and then suddenly we solve it. And it's that but it's like solving a maths problem. If the teacher gives you a load of homework and then the very last one is the tester one that maybe the teacher might not fully expect you to get. But if you, if you stick at it like a dog with a bone and you really, really, really try it and then you get it. So unfortunately that doesn't happen every day. But when it happens it makes it all worthwhile. And I really remember those days why, why I love engineering and why I'm happy to be an engineer. I'm proud to be an engineer. Um, when you were my age, what characteristics do you have that made you lean towards engineering? It's a good way to think about it because it helps you uh, kind of really puzzle out if you're suited to be an engineer or not. Um, so the characteristics that I, I think are most important that you'd have at the age of 15 would be a curiosity into how things work, you know? Are you really, maybe if the remote control is broken, are you the one that pulls it apart to check what's going on? Or if, um, if you see something inefficient, like maybe in the school hall where the two doors are jammed closed, when you're leaving assembly, one door is open and one door is closed and all the school are rushing out that one door and you're saying, why don't you open the other door? If you have that natural ability to see an inefficiency and see a solution, if that's your natural trait, um, if you can identify with that, I think you could be suited to be an engineer. The other thing is kind of pride in your work. You know, if you do a nice job or do some good quality, um, a little project, that you, you know, if you're, if, if you're kind of happy that you did that and your shoulders go back a little bit and you're proud you did it. Um, people joke that engineers are a little bit cocky, so maybe that's where it comes from. We're proud of achieving something of a good standard. Um, so curiosity, uh, um, and oh yeah, the other one is maybe you prefer reading a diagram than reading a paragraph of words. Engineers um, that I work with, we all always would gravitate, well most of us would gravitate first of all to read the diagram. And we prefer to download a lot of information from a, the spatial structure of a diagram than a big paragraph of words. Thanks Judy. For more information log on to scienceweek.ie.